this time around, there's a sense in many people's minds that the machinery that we have isn't working very well, but we don't have consensus on how to fix it. This time around, there's a sense in many people's minds that the machinery that we have isn't working very well, but we don't have consensus on how to fix it. Uh, we need, I think, to um, make some kind of a breakthrough. This is not about tinkering at the margins. This is why I say it's not about just making some adjustments in the UN Environment Organization. We need some kind of fundamental uh, paradigm shift. Some, uh, f to deal with these kinds of problems, a fundamentally new way of thinking. This has happened in other issue areas. This is not something we've never encountered. So, for example, um, at the end of World War II, after the World Wars of the 20th century, we realized that we needed to make a transition, to, to make a fundamental change in our way of thinking, going from the notion of national security to collective security. The national security is simply not going to be a way of thinking that would allow us to avoid those kinds of very large scale destructions. After the Great Depression of the 20th century in the economic sphere, uh, we went from uh, policies of autarky, building high tariff walls to protect individual countries from the rest of the world to a fundamentally different paradigm of institutionalized international coordination, uh, which has given us things like the uh, World Trade Organization. So it's a, it's a, in, in, we need to deal with problems that have characteristics which are fundamentally different from what we've been used to in the past, we need to have some kind of a paradigm shift. Now, the critical question for us in terms of these global environmental problems is can we make that kind of shift without the kind of destructive and disruptive experiences that preceded the economic and security? I mean, do we, can, can we avoid a Great Depression? Can we avoid a world war or the counterpart of that in the environmental sphere in order to make this shift? That's a lot of what the conversation um, here this week has been all about.